Okay, I'm Craig. I own Black Child Tattoos in Carshorton. Um, been tattooing here for, been the owner here for just under a year now, and um, yeah, so far so good. When I actually started tattooing, I didn't actually know much about, you know, the tattooing trade or actual tattooists around what tattoo artists around the world. Sorry, um, I didn't really have many influences. So the people that actually influenced me were the people that, who I actually got tattooed by. You know, those were the people who you know introduced me to tattooing. So I guess you could say people like Dave Leach and Megan Leach at, um, at Nuclear Tattoos. Uh, Danny Fuller of the Red Dragon in Horsham was a massive influence um, and extremely encouraging when it comes to getting into tattooing because uh, most people can be quite hostile but it was really, really helpful. Um, definitely, I don't know his full name, there's a guy called Jay who used to tattoo out of Andy Barber's New Rose Tattoo Studio. I think he's got his own studio now in Tolworth Tattoo Emporium or something. Uh, he did my whole back piece and uh, that was like what gave me the push that I wanted to actually be a tattooist when I saw what could be done with a tattoo machine, um, just a bit of ink. Um, but obviously since being in the tattoo, but since tattooing myself and getting more and more into it, obviously like I'm into like probably those that everybody's into, like Nico Hurtado and Bob Tyrell, and my personal favorite is Carlos Torres. Um, Silvano Fiato is one of my favorites. Um, I'm not actually sure if I pronounced that right, so sorry if I didn't. Franco Vescovi. Um, yeah, just the list of those general tattoo gurus, if you like, you know, I'm, I'm into all of them. My style, I guess, uh, I, I'd find it quite hard to pinpoint my own style. Uh, I'm, I enjoy doing black and grey quite a lot, um, only because basically when I started like doing art, uh, aside from tattooing, like before I started tattooing, it was uh, it was just black and grey lead pencil, and um, I was lucky enough to find a red colour pencil like at the bottom of an old school bag or something. So everything was like very heavy with the black and grey, with maybe a hint of red, which is um, I've come to sort of learn to use to my own advantage but I wouldn't say it's a unique style as such it's just I suppose I like to add a little bit of colour with black and grey. Mm -hmm. 